I've added several small hard drives in my Windows 11 computer. Now let's take a look at how we can use that storage. I'm going to go into the Start button, click on Settings, and you're going to see that the storage options and settings is not very good. So I'll just go ahead and click on the System icon, and then Storage on the left-hand side. And here it shows my C drive, shows apps and features and other things. What I want to do is I want to manage my storage. So I'll click on Manage Disks and Volumes. And here are all the different disks. We can see the main disk is 50 gigabytes. We can see that there's an additional three five gigabyte drives. Now, if I click on those drives, for instance, and go to Properties, then we can see options such as taking offline or convert to GPT, which is a different partition style. That's pretty much it. There's not a lot that we can do. So really what you want to do is you want to go into a different place altogether, and that is disk management. And we can get into disk management by going down to the search box and typing in computer management. And that will open up an application that's been around for quite a while that will allow us to manage our disks much more efficiently. So I'll click on Storage and then Disk Management. And when I open up Disk Management, it's going to prompt me to initialize the three drives that I've added. When you add the three drives, they're going to show up as not initialized, as you can see on the lower left section of each drive. And we can initialize those with a couple of different partition styles. One is going to be the master boot record, and the other is going to be the good partition table. Master boot record is good up to two terabytes, and GPT is good for much more than that. But there's really no reason to use the master boot record anymore because uh, you're going to want to use GPT for everything anyway, especially if you're going over two terabytes. Let's go ahead and click OK. And that is how we manage disks using computer management in Windows 11.